Hi everyone, here is Damien Levy. Welcome in this Forex video. Today, I will explain how to take a very strong level of support and resistance or the level, the signals that I provide in the mentorship service using M and W patterns. So for our specific entry, we will use what we call M and Ws. And I will explain now what it is and uh, why it works actually. So when you know when the price go down, it's in a downtrend, it creates moves like that. And as much as we have lower high and lower lows, the trend is going down. So when we have a M or a W in this specific example, the trend stop creating lower lows and it creates lows at the same point. And most of the time, if we have a very, very strong level, like the signals that I provide, you can have a very nice opportunity to enter a trade and you can win 100, 200, sometimes 300% of what you put at risk. So this is the W in a downtrend. So let's look at the uptrend. The uptrend looks like that. Creating new high, higher than the previous one, and creating new low, higher than the previous low. But when we have two highs that happen at the same time, confluent with another very strong level of resistance, we can have a nice opportunity and there is a way to see if this level might hold or is likely to reverse. So in an uptrend it's a M, in a downtrend it's a W. So let's look at the chart now. So the yellow line on my chart are the strong levels that I analyzed during the weekend and uh, those were the signal for this morning. So if you want to take them on Forex, what you will do is you switch on the 15 minute chart and you wait for this level, the yellow line, to be touched or very near and reject it. And this will be your first leg of the W because we can see in this specific chart we have a nice downtrend, new low, new lower low, lower low, and again lower low. So now what we expect, we don't enter any trade, but we know this very, this level, this zone is very strong. So what we wait is to see the price coming back to this specific lower low and to create a nice rejection and this will be our entry. Around here and I will show you what will be a perfect entry. So it's it didn't happen yet, so I have my alert right here that will alert me when the price will be here and if it creates a nice rejection on the second leg of my W, I will take a trade. If it doesn't, I will not take the trade because it might continue. As you can see, we have a nice M right here, which is also a continuation of the specific trend. And this can be taken also in the same way. I mean, you have a high created here, it come back to the high, make wicks, but doesn't succeed to break it and to close above and it create a nice engulfing white candle right here. So let me zoom in. So for this specific entry, if we want to play the continuation of the trend, this specific entry will be taken with we enter at the end of this angle thing candle right here the stop loss will be 2 to 3 pips above the previous high so not here but around here and the target profit should be 1 to 1, 1 to 2 so the target profit should be here but what do we know about this level? we know it's a very strong level of support because when I create my signal I adapt them and this should be a very nice support so likely 70% of the time this level will reject the price so I expect to take my profit at the previous low maximum 
I will not take my profit my profit farther than that. And I will still expect to see a W and to enter my trade to go long on this specific level. So let's look at other chart to see other level. Okay, another level right here. So check on the 15 minute chart. Oh, it's the same case scenario. No, not exactly actually. This is a good entry. I am in already. I will start with the trend. So once again, price creates new low, lower than the previous. So when it creates this specific low, I expect a W here, but it didn't make it. It continues to go down. So when it creates a new low, I follow and I see. And this is when you expect this level to make the W. And this is nice for me, but the candle is a little too big for me. But the perfect candle would have been a candle like that, who end at my blue line. And it engulf the, re the rejection candle right here. We have a candle with a pin bar, try to break the level but reject. And the next candle close above this specific white candle. On the second leg and this engulfing candlestick on the second leg is my entry point. So I enter at the end of the candlestick, that's what I did on this specific setup. So as you can see my stop loss is below, one two pips below the spike and my target profit is one time, it can be two times depending on the trend and depending on your experience but I conceal you, I advise you to start with 1-1 one, one risk reward ratio and when you feel mo more comfortable and you see that the price is really turning into a nice new trend in your direction you can take more profit but this is a little more advanced and today we will just cover the M and the W so this is a nice W and as you see the price start to come up so what do we have? we have this level touch exactly this morning so we will switch, I'm on the 4 hour chart, I go to the 15 minutes so what happened here? so same happen, we have a nice downtrend and when it touched my level, it never come back exactly but it come back to the end of the body of this specific candle and when it come back and it makes this specific angle thing to confirm with you is, if the price touch, but it's kind of a long time ago so in this specific chart it touched the level and it come back to it like um, 21 candles, for me it's it's too much I want to see a M or a W that will take around this amount of candle 8 to 12 candlestick and coming back very near the level it rejects very nice with an engulfing candle right here and after this one this is a perfect entry so after this time create a new low and come back very far away from it so this will be our new level that we wait to be broken price come back down, try to break it but reject and at the end of this specific blue candle which br uh, close above the white doji just below this is my entry, my stop loss is a little below like here and my risk reward 1 to 1 already hit 2 to 1 right here and it might hit also so this for this specific example for W again so we have USD Singapore at a level but this level has been touched two times so I will just take care about, about what happened well, actually there was one losing trade here so it's a M so we have this nice M right here and with this specific angle thing right here close here so your entry was here your stop loss was here and it has been hit by this specific candlestick uh, pattern and it creates another M actually so you have one entry right here lost and you have a second entry at this specific candlestick stop loss right here and risk reward is right here and it's uh, it's on its good way to go down for this one so following the M you have until now we saw two winning trades and uh, this one is on, uh, on its way another thing that you have to know is 
if the price stays at the creating a ranging zone near the same level of your entry and stay like 8 to 12 candlestick after 8 candles I will get out of the trade because those are the very very strong levels that I use uh, that I analyze on my chart and if the price stays there quite some time it's not very healthy for your trade so you want to to stay in a trade where you have good signs that it will go in your favor so if the price doesn't move within 8 candles after your entry so your entry is here and you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 but it's still going in your direction so I will let run this trade but if it stay around here or little loss like that without any signs that the price come back down I will close my trade after 2 hours, 3 hours maximum of time in a ranging market so let's look at other example ok so we have an example here on odd USD actually we have two example so what do we have? we have a strong downtrend very strong rejection and now the price come back to the level and create this specific angle thing candlestick so when I see that I will take my trade stop loss here and 1 to 1 risk reward ratio uh, I think if you analyze exactly 16 and it made 17 so this is a winning trade for a 1 1 risk reward ratio and the second example is when it continues to go down continue to go down new low and this is your second entry another hem is created here a nice angle thing candle right here stop loss here and uh, 12 pips and it made 15 pips already so this one is a winning trade for the risk reward one to one and since the level is very strong I think it will make more than that so we have two winning trades using this specific pattern and one very s important thing is at a very strong level of support let's look at the next yeah yeah this one is also a perfect example so as you can see price go down create new low and when it's near the level it rejects one time and second time when it's very close like that I can count it at the same but I expect most of the time to see a M forming very at the same level if it forms something like that and come back above it right here I will not take this trade I prefer to see very uh, regular pattern with a very nice angle thing and not too big so I can have a nice risk reward ratio also and so as shown before you have this nice angle thing candle right here touching exactly the level and this will be my entry stop loss right here and risk reward ratio 1 to 1 is it and 1 to 2 is it also because la at this specific trade you have only 9 pips at risk maybe 10 pips so it made 10 pips right here in 15 minutes actually and it made uh, actually 29 pips already so you have uh, 1 to 1 and 2 to 1 already met for this specific trade so let's look at odd uh, Japanese yen or same pattern, uh, odd pair are correlated, so we have the same. But this one didn't make already the the one to one risk reward ratio. And something interesting, I would not have taken this trade. Uh, why? Because we have a nice rejection here, right? So the second leg is right here, but the second leg didn't make a candle, a blue candle that close above. So I don't enter this specific trade and after the price come back down and create a very huge candle this is very huge we have like 30 pips 26 pips for one candle for me it's too big if I want to enter a trade with a healthy risk reward ratio I want it to close around like something like that if it's even if it's 20 pips in a OGPY it's quite volatile it's okay so it would be 18 20 but 20 look at that it made 30 pips in my direction already so this one would, would have been good if the candle was not so much big or what you can do when you have those, this kind of big candle you wait for the candle to retrace half of the distance and you still take a trade with like 17 pips and this still is a winner so I come back to it to explain a little more 
so when you have this candle it's too big to enter here so I don't enter because it's too much pips and I wait half of this candle size to enter so I set a buy limit at this specific level with a stop loss here and 1 to 1, 1 to 2 risk reward ratio right here and this one is a winning anyway so that's the way you trade the level to have a very strong confirmation and to make uh, a lot of money out of the profile that I provide uh, every morning it works the same, I mean every example looks nearly the same nice example here this morning same applies, see? touch here, you have a nice level here and it made an angle thing here, so same it's too big candle for me, I don't enter, I will wait this level to come back but it comes back very far away so in this specific example I don't enter with a buy limit I will enter only when I see this specific angle thing candle my entry is right here at the end of this candle and the risk reward is one to one since the price is ranging quite far so that's it so that was for the last example and every example works the same so you have two variation MW you wait for the second leg with an angle thing candle and if the angle thing candle is very very big you wait for a retracement in the next two to five candle maximum and um, if not you wait for a, a nice entry with a good risk reward ratio with a not so much big angle thing candle I hope it helped and you can take more advantage of the profile that I provide every day or if you trade your own support and resistance it will also help you to to have a higher win rate with this in the complete course I will also teach you how to find those very very strong level and uh, we will see different way to take your target profit to take more than 1 to 1, 1 to 2 risk reward ratio sometimes it can go to 1 to 5, 1 to 6, sometimes 1 to 10 risk reward ratio but th all this specific knowledge will be in the, in the mentorship when you subscribe to the signal and everything, the course, the teaching and eventually my assistance if you need it so that's all for today we are already at the end of the video I hope you enjoyed if you did, don't hesitate to like and share on your Facebook, Twitter, Google+, etc. You will also find below the video the link to join my Facebook group or eventually the Telegram channel where I provide free signals every week. I wish you the best. Bye!